Hello everyone. Welcome back to your channel. If you are visiting to your channel for a first time, then this is my small introduction. I'm thankful for each and every member because it's just you and just you who is helping me and this channel to grow. I thoroughly enjoy learning and sharing software development languages and technologies with you. It's a mission which I am trying to drive to share knowledge with everyone whose aim is to establish career in software. Please keep watching, sharing and motivating others to subscribe to your channel. Also press the bell icon to never miss the updates. Thank you. Let's start learning. So friends, this is the the one of the flow scenario which is actually uh, is from the project itself. Uh, one of our friend is looking for a solution, so I thought to record the solution and uh, share with him as well as with you, so that in case you also have the similar kind of the uh, you know the uh, the problem uh, or you can use a story, you can refer the solution and then can use in your project. This I will be uploading in a the uh, we have a separate playlist uh, scenario and uh, problem discussion. So you can I mean you can go into the, uh, the playlist and there you can find out the the separate playlist where we only uh, share the video uh, with some you know business requirements the solution of, of those business requirements. In case you want to learn flow from scratch, then we do have the uh, you know the, uh, the i mean we have already uploaded the you know the four or five videos and uh, those videos are available in the salesforce administrator uh, course playlist you can you know the uh, check uh, in the uh, playlist section we have the uh, separate you know the administrator uh, course related playlist i will also share you the link so that you can refer it but here we are precisely working on this scenario only so let us, you know, the work on, on those, uh, I mean, let us work on this scenario and uh, help, you know, our friend. In case you also have some scenario, please do share. I will be, you know, most happy uh, to, I will be very, you know, happy to help you with. So first thing is when you say send email 10 days prior. So that means you need to find all contacts with this criteria, I mean, let's say today is 8th, 8th of March. So 10 days later will be 18. Okay. So we have to send in. So uh, if somebody's birthday is on, uh, you know, the 18th, then, you know, the on 8th, we are sending an email happy birthday. Okay. I mean, this, this is uh, because I cannot, you know, they put the all, you know, the similar, uh, the criteria and um, everything. Uh, in the video, uh, so that's why I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm changing the it to explain you. So we have to first, you know, they fetch all the context whose birthday is ten days later. Okay, and then we will store it into the variable. Okay, so let us see. This is a simple screen flow we have. Okay, so first of all, I am going to click here and I will create a formula. And the formula will be, uh, I mean, to, uh, you know, uh, it will be like to store to get the 10 days later date. Okay, and then here I am using the date flow dot current date plus 10. 
Okay. Now here I will be using my get records. Fetch all conflicts with coming birthday and days later. And here I have the birthday. Now this is a standard field we have. This is a standard field we have. Okay, uh, we will record, I mean, we will, uh, you know, the store all the records. Okay, choose fields. So, because I have to send email. So the email we have here. Okay, so I will be other than this uh, ID, I am also using email and less and some, uh, I mean done. Okay, now, as I said, each step, um, you are you are, you are completing debug it so that you can you know the find out whether you are going in the right direction or not. So let us save this first. Okay, let me click debug. So if you can see here, days, ten, I mean the days 10 later date. So this is the formula we have created. That means your current date plus 10 is, you know, this is calculating as set March 17. Okay. So that's why, you know, the, uh, we don't have the, any, uh, record. I will update the record and then, you know, we will de debug again and then we will see the result. Okay. So the variable with, I'm sorry. I mean the resource resource, which got created here with this get record is showing the two fields, which we are using, uh, ID and email. Okay, so let me first of all, you know, the uh, update the record so that we can, uh, you know, the we can work uh, and and debug whether we are getting the right result or not. successfully found records. So this step is, is uh, we have, uh, you know, the completed and uh, from here we are getting the, uh, I mean the records, whichever records we will find, we will get the two fields of it. One is ID and the one email. So what next? Now, because we, when we have to send an email, we need an email ID, right? So what next? Let us first create a formula and formula which will, which will have the email IDs. Okay, let's see how we can create. But before that, you know, I, I, I forgot to tell you that because, you know, the, uh, we have more than one record. So we have to, you know, the uh, fetch the email IDs of each record. And since we have, you know, we have to fetch the email ID of each record. So we need a loop. So loop, you know, will, uh, I mean, get 
I mean, get each report from get resource. Okay. Now get resource is this one. Okay. So or I should uh, type it as uh, you know get record. Okay. Okay, this is the same we have here. Okay, first and let's try. Correct. Now, we have the loop here, and this is going to, you know, the help us with your, I mean, fetching one one record at a time, and uh, then we will use. I, I mean, see. What I'm going to do is I have all the record here. From this, I am fetching, I am uh, running a loop on all the records we have here. And one one record I will I will take and I will I will take their email IDs. Okay. Hope this is clear. Okay, so let us see this thing as well first with the uh, debug. Let me close it. Two records. I have current iteration. Perfect. So this is good. Okay. And you can check the record ID. Same. Okay. Now, let me create one, uh, you know, the formula. Okay. And this will be of type text. And here I will be, let me first of all give the name. store email IDs. Now here we have is the option to, you know, store the uh, email IDs. Okay. So, I mean, simple thing is that now, till now what we have done, we have, you know, just, uh, uh, I mean, first of all, we have filtered the records with the, with the uh, match, uh, matching criteria. We are running a iteration. Now we are creating a formula. So let us see how we can create the formula. Enter a valid. Where I have missed testing. Let me cancel it. Formula. API. Oh, okay. Uh, store on email is nice. Okay. Okay. Now we have the formula here available, and we will be using the you know the uh, this uh, formula in sending our uh, our you know the emails action we have here then email trigger uh, but the email okay then you can see here uh, happy birthday, happy birthday, and here you can use 
the store we have you know the, all the email id here okay so done okay and save it uh, i'm just you know the uh, you know the i'm going to uh, stop share for a second let me open my email id My, I'm sharing my screen again. Okay. And let me click on debug here. Right now, 52 emails I have. So, iteration is, is one now. You have the, uh, I mean, the, on the second email ID as well. We receive the uh, you know the email, and this is the email body we have. Okay, now let me quickly open this email for you. Happy birthday! So happy birthday! Okay, happy birthday! This is what the content we have. You know the uh, we have shared. I mean on the email template. So hope you have you know the uh, like the the content and uh, please uh, I mean uh, you if you have any scenario please share so that we all can learn together. Thank you. Stay safe. Keep learning.